So uh, quickly, a little quick video. We done, uh, so we, we got this thing all surfaced, you know, off the BHJ fixture. And this is more, you know, do we, what do we reference from? Is the BHJ fixture accurate? All that kind of jazz. So, you know, the, the, the 45 degree banks were off a, a good bit. But the BHJ fixture also has a, a, a surface on the top here that is, you know, this is 45, this is zero, this is 45, and this is perpendicular to the cam crank center line, right? So all that fixture was machined all at one time. So we indicated it in, and then we, this surface has never been touched. It's, it's all factory. So we, we zero right there, you can see zero. And then we slide over to the other side. So that's one thousandths. So, so the fixture is accurate with the cam crank center line and this surface is flat with that within one thousandths in about, I don't know, six inches or so, six, seven inches. So what I'm gonna do now, just to, I don't know, just to verify some things because we want to know all our fixturing is accurate you know so we're going to cut this surface dead flat zero with the bhj fixture indicated in and then we're going to take this block out flip it upside down and lay it on this fixture lay it on this surface on the parallels and then we're going to use the indicator to check the uh the actual block where the main saddle sits and see is the the cam crank center line and the BHJ fixture parallel perpendicular to the crankshaft plane in in the y-axis so uh, hang loose and we're going to get this machine to get them machine cleaned up get it flipped over and then we'll bring you back when we're ready to indicate in the main saddles all right so we got it flipped over cleaned up and uh and it's laying on the parallels and so we got all the caps off got everything wiped down and you can so over here on this side we like a thousandths and a half low on this side and then we come over here and we just maybe a couple tenths under zero. So I think that, I mean, to me, that qualifies our setup. Um, you know, the cam crank center line is where it is and it's not ever gonna be exactly perfect I mean, close, but not perfect. So the fact that we we did all that surfacing from the fixture, and then and then we know that this is parallel with the machine, and we can just flip it over and lay it on a surface that we machined, and sweep the mains, and then whatever that is, six or seven inches, we're within a thousandths and a couple of tenths I, I think that's i think that's really good uh just for giggles we'll check the paint up here on the pan rail too just just to see what that says i think we will if we got enough stroke So that's five, and that's 10. So there's five different in the pan rail. And it could just be, we're right there on the edge. Yeah, so that's like 12, and that's five. So the pan rail's a little off. And let's see what it looks like front to back, just for giggles. Yeah, 
there, so it's a little, it's a little bit. Well, it's got a little bow in the middle, but on end to end, it's it's pretty close. So, I mean that I I, I feel good about that, and we always wonder, you know, or I do anyway. You know, we got fixtures and jigs, and we do things a certain way, and if you if you can't if you if you can't qualify what you're doing you know if you don't have a way to qualify it then you know ultimately you're just guessing and hoping and we can't i mean we can't qualify everything but we try to be able to 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 ch check as much stuff as we possibly can to know that you know our system is valid right and the only I mean, really, probably the only thing we could do better is put it in a CMM and just check all the points in a CMM from a, a given reference. And at some point, I mean, I don't have one today, but at some point we're going to buy a CMM and then we'll be able to just, you know, put it in the machine and just start picking points and easily verify, you know, cylinder locations, dial fan locations, and, and cam to crank locations, all that stuff. And, and it'll be, you know, and then we can just see it right on the screen, all the dimensions, and know if we got a problem or we don't have a problem. So, uh, but yeah, but I just thought that that would be interesting to just check behind ourselves and make sure that we are doing what we think we're doing. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that was uh, educational and uh, you know, there's more coming. Thanks so much. We'll see you on the next one.